The Shiv Sena will contest alone the civic BMC elections. The Shiv Sena chief confirms the breakup of the 25-year-old relationship with the BJP. In Bangalore, the government to put a leash on pet owners. Soon, dog lovers will have to get a license to own a dog. The government could also put curbs on the number of dogs you can have in your apartment and the size of dogs that can be held in an apartment. Shocking visuals of animal brutality emerges in Mumbai. A man seen beating a helpless stray to death in Goregaon. The police have arrested the brute. And in Tamil Nadu, there is now a section of trader organizations who are waging war against international beverages. They threaten to pull Coca-Cola and Pepsi off the shelves. And India celebrates her 68th Republic Day, the country's military might and cultural diversity on full display in Rajpath. This is the Indian Coast Guard Party. Well, it's official and it comes straight from the Shiv Sena Supremo himself, the BJP has officially, and the Shiv Sena have officially broken up. This was a 25-year-old relationship. As the crucial Mumbai civic body polls close in, today, Sena Supremo Uddhav Thakre, in a rally, challenged the BJP, announcing the Sena's plans to go solo in this election. <laughs> आता याचा पुढे मी युती साथी कोणा ही दारा मरे कटोरा गेहूं जानार नाई जे काई असेल ते माजा भगवया चा माजा शिवस सैनी का चा आणि माजा शिवस सेना प्रभुखान चा से लेकते चा सेल माला कोणा चा भीके होती मी राणार नाई मयाची पहिली सहारी जा महापली का है जा जिल्ला प तिथे कुठे ही मी युती करणार नाही माझा शिवसैनिक स्वतःच्या हट्टा पाई स्वतःच्या वेडा पाई आणि स्वतःच्या महत्वाकांक्षा पाई कुठेही माझ्या आई समान शिवसेनेशी गद्दारी करणार नाही त्याच्या तिच्या खुशीवरती वार करणार नाही well, that's the big story we're looking at this evening remember the BMC elections are crucial because it is the richest uh, municipal corporation in the country. We're joined right now by senior journalist Kumar Ketkar. Uh, Kumar Ketkar, thank you so much for joining us. Now we've had we've we've seen sort of strains of stress in the relationship between the Sena and the BJP for a while now. But interesting use of words there by Uddhav Thakre. He said, "We will not show up with a be begging bowl anymore. We've wasted 25 years on this relationship, so things have really gone sour." Yeah, actually, but you must remember that even in 2014 assembly election, BJP and Sena fought separately. Mm. And at that time, too, the language was same, as brave and as adventurous. So I don't think that this is the last chapter of the story of the alliance. Because after 2014, assembly elections fought separately, they came together. Now, why they survived together was because of the skeldegary of the Nationalist Congress Party led by Sharad Pawar, who offered support to BJP even when they had not asked. Fearing BJP-NCP alliance, Shiv Sena joined the government. Now, this is second sort of attempt at a final sort of divorce. But if they were truly serious about this divorce, ministers in the BJP Shiv Sena government in Maharashtra and at the center should have resigned. Then one can conclusively say, that the alliance is finally broken. But what Uddhav Thakre has said, and I think from his point of view it is right, strategical position that he is taking, that let this election be over. Imagine if this election Shiv Sena wins more seats than BJP, then it will be BJP which will have to tie up with Shiv Sena okay. or break okay. the alliance altogether. Right. Mr. Mr. Kekar, we are right now joined by Sneha Lambekar, who is the Shiv Sena leader and the mayor of Mumbai right now. Uh, Mr. Kekar, stay with us. I just want to ask uh, Sneha Lambekar this. Uh, Ambekar, madam, Abhi jo announcement hui hai, which, which we've heard from Uddhav Thakre, I want to understand from you, kya Shiv Sena abhi confident hai ki wo akele ye jung ladke jeet paayegi? Hmm. Mere kar se, jo Shiv Sena ikra ha dekh rahe te, aaj hamare saab ke aadesh ki. Jo aadesh unhe noi aaj hamare 
इस मेरावे में दिया है वो मेरे ख्याल से बहुत ही बढ़िया आदेश है कि आज हम खुद के बलबूते पर ये पूरी इलेक्शन हमारे बलबूते पर खुद के इसके स्व बढ़ाते लड़ने वाले हैं मेरे ख्याल से बहुत ही बड़ा निर्णय है जिसका स्वागत हम सभी शिवसैनिक कर रहे हैं और जिस भरोसे का उन्होंने हम पे एक दावा किया है वो भरोसा हम कभी भी टूटने में देंगे और यही बात हमें सबसे बड़ी अच्छी लगी और इससे ज्यादा मैं नहीं कहूंगी आने वाला वक्त ही आपको बताएगा अब एक मैडम आप मुझे ये बता दीजिए कि अभी देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ क्रिटिसिज्म राइट नाउ विद इन दिटीजन अबाउट द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ मुंबई वेदर इट वॉज द फ्लडिंग इन द लास्ट मानसून या गार्बेज कलेक्शन में प्रॉब्लम है देवनार की डम्पयार्ड uh, में जो प्रॉब्लम है वो अभी तक सॉल्व नहीं हुई ओपन स्पेसेस की जो प्रॉब्लम है उसमें काफी uh, काफी बातचीत हुई है क्या आपको लगता है कि ये सब कुछ होने के बावजूद शिवसेना फिर से जीत पाएगी करने का दावा हम करते हैं बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम हम लोग ने सॉल्व की है जैसे पंपिंग स्टेशन ब्रिटानिया पंपिंग स्टेशन है उसके बाद बहुत सारी चीजें जो आप अभी आने वाले इसमें हमारे सभी कैंपेन में आप देख रहे हैं जो बात हमने वचननामा में लास्ट टाइम की थी वो सभी हम लोग ने पूरी की है और आने वाले इलेक्शन में भी जो हम लोग ने हमारा वचननामा दिया है उसमें भी आप देखेंगे कि बहुत सारी चीजें आने वाले समय में बहुत सारी चीजें हम लोग करके दिखाने वाले हैं हाँ ठीक है और uh... ओके वी वी सीम टू हैव लॉस्ट दैट कनेक्शन मुझे गो बैक टू मिस्टर कुमार केतकर एट दिस पॉइंट यू हैड द कॉन्फिडेंस यू राइट इट द फैक्ट दैट इट डज रेवेन्यू इट जस्ट साउंड अ लॉक लाइक द कॉन्फिडेंस बिफोर द 2014 इलेक्शंस बट आई आल्सो वांट यू टू सॉर्ट ऑफ टेल अस व्हाट यू थिंक द शिवसेना's चांसेस आर व्हाइल दे आर साउंडिंग कॉन्फिडेंट द इनकंबेंट हैविंग टू कम बैक डू यू थिंक दैट दे कैन कीप द ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द लास्ट 20 ऑड इयर्स एंड विन अनदर इलेक्शन इन द बीएमसी Well, actually, it is extremely difficult to predict. But the demonetization has brought tremendous amount of discontent among the people. Mumbai is a city of essentially two classes of people. One is the working class, and second is the trading community. Now, trading community is acutely disturbed by demonetization, and working class is upset because their wages or their job levels have gone down. So demonetization. I am not saying that this will be a referendum on demonetization because referendum will require only one point agenda. Whereas in municipality, the agenda is urban planning, particularly Mumbai's very very bad situation on every count. Therefore, Shiva Sena will be tested not only on the type of city that we have, but also on the demonetization, which has become a national issue. And Shiva Sena's argument. that while bjp wants transparency in all aspects they were not transparent about demonetization or failure of demonetization with them and if they are not transparent with us how can they ask for transparency from us but yet shiva sena appeared to be more transparent than the bjp and therefore when shiva sena and bjp were talking of seat distribution bjp was insisting far more number on the basis of their 2014 lok sabha situation mm -hmm. of uh, uh, victory now simple argument by shiv sena is if you compare 2014 lok sabha elections as a guiding force for distribution of seats why are you ignoring all the earlier elections before you have mm -hmm. to compare 2012 also you have to compare 2007 also how can you compare only 2014 lok sabha because that is advantageous to you so i think that argument is quite valid because in every election people change their tone people change their voting yes. pattern yes. people change so i think shivsena argument was right but yes. i think it was uh, difficult in any case they were never on the same page even if they were in alliance so they were never on the same page and samna their mouthpiece was condemning and criticizing stridently narendra modi personally and mm. bjp as a party so i think in any case the relationship was so sore so bad that it was very difficult to believe that they would come together Well, uh, uh, Kumar, stay with us because we now have Atul Bhaktagar from the BJP who joins us right now. Atul Bhaktagar, very interesting move uh, here uh, from the Shiv Sena. Is it because the Shiv Sena wants to dis to distance itself from the effects of demonetization? It has constantly said it was not consulted on demonetization. Uh, these are crucial decisions, and it was not. It it did not feel party to that decision. It felt that the that the entire process was badly handled. Is that the reason why this uh, this relationship has come apart? No, I don't think the demonetization has anything to do with the today's Shiv Sena's decision. Mm -hmm. Shusena is very much disturbed because we, from the day one, we demanded that there should be the transparency in functioning of Mumbai 
corporation and we categorically while discussing with them we told them that hence further there should be common minimum agenda regarding the transparency number of seat is important thing but it is secondary thing so how we should function the corporation that is our main agenda and main priority unfortunately shivsena did not respond to our this demand properly instead of talking about the transparency measures which we have to take in corporation they said why there is no transparency in state government at central level in demonetization hmm. they they are part and parcel of the both government if they think really that there is no transparency at state and center they should have raised the issues much earlier but they are not ready to make any transparent business in mumbai corporation and mm. that's why today they broke the line we are confident that we will win mumbai corporation election by comfortable majority and we will give transparent mumbai corporation for next 5 years to the mumbai cars so no, but uh, you if you're confident then that you are going to win this election you also believe that demonetization will have no impact at all on the results of the bmc election 2017 i don't think so because all surveys say that people are with demonetization minimum 70% people always stated that they are for de- demonetization because common man of this country mumbai really thinks that the mist- Mr Narendra Modi has started his fight against black money and corruption and all common man is with Narendra Modi and Bharatiya Janata Party as far as demonetization is concerned Atul ji just stay and with us we have Manisha Kayande of the Shiv Sena who also joins this conversation Manisha Kayande good evening thank you for joining us here on the channel a big announcement coming there from Uddhav Thakre uh, today about a split between the shiv sena and the bjp we just have atul bakhtalikar who tells us that it's because the shiv sena was not willing to try to to function in a transparent manner in the bmc that's why you broke apart what is the reason within the shiv sena for uh, for the split i think this is a uh, very childish of them because uh, in every uh, statutory committee of the uh, corporation uh, for example the standing committee there are uh, all the corporators from all the parties sitting there who mm-hmm. are participating who are expressing uh, their opinion on the uh, proposals brought by the uh, corporation okay by the bureaucratic uh, system and then um, there are even uh, uh, journalists there are also people of the um, administrative wing mm. i mean when everybody is present there so how do you say it's not transparent and for last uh, three terms they are with us since 97 and mm. from 97 they never raised this issue of transparency and suddenly in this one year in the six months uh, they are finding that it's not transparent i mean they just wanted a reason uh, probably to break the alliance of course we are uh, we were always prepared for it and uh, hence uh, uddhav ji has made this important announcement manisha khande the bjp says that it was the shiv sena's decision to break the alliance you're telling me that it was the bjp's decision uh, was it the shiv sena's decision to break the alliance well it may be uh, the decision is made well in the first meeting i mean it was as though you know somebody giving us lessons on moral science hmm. uh, on transparency and all those things and the second meeting they come up with a list of 115 now they have only 31 corporators the congress has 51 so just see the difference and suddenly they come up with a list of 115 that is unreasonable i mean we can't just uh, give away uh, the wards in which we have sitting corporators so that was quite an unreasonable demand i think and uh, whether they broke or we broke whatever it is i mean now the the, the fact is that uh, uh, the two parties will not be in an alliance but uh, manisha khande you are still in an alliance now, right now both uh, mm-hmm. you know at the state and in the center mm-hmm. will sena mps at the state and uh, in the center continue to support mm-hmm. the uh, the governments or will you resign from the positions well, uh, that they are holding right leader, now bjp's uh, own leader sudhir mungantiwar says that they don't want 100% alliance everywhere okay mm-hmm. so if the, if we go by that statement uh that of course there is a alliance in the center there is an alliance in the maharashtra uh, state but uh, of course time uh, will uh, i mean uh, uh, even our ministers have made it very clear to uddhav ji today that we are ready with our bags and baggage yeah. if yeah. uddhav ji gives a signal we'll be out of it 
But to be honest, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm going to bring in uh, Kumar Ketkar here. It does sound again like uh, like the rift of 2014. Kumar Ketkar, are you hearing anything different here from the two from the two representatives of the parties in question? Yes, absolutely. The intensity of the argument of the Shiv Sena has increased considerably than 2014, and despite actually functioning in an alliance, they have. But their argument, basically, what Ms. Kayan they said about transparency is correct. BJP is part of the municipal corporation administration. BJP is not out of it. It is an anti-Congress, anti-NCP alliance of BJP and Shiv Sena in municipal corporation. How can they blame only Shiv Sena for whatever misdoings are taking place, including corruption or including total mismanagement or including all kinds of policies which have no relation to city at all. So BJP and Sena are equally responsible even for the mismanagement of the city. And therefore, I think, and essentially let us not forget, Amit Shah and Narendra Modi have been right from start were apprehensive about the alliance. They never wanted the alliance. And they looked at opportunity in 2014 assembly elections and broke the alliance. But again it came because they did not get the full majority. If BJP had got its own majority, which Modi and Amit Shah thought they will get, then the alliance in assembly also would not have come and the alliance in center would not have been a matter of debate at all. Because BJP could not get its own majority in assembly, the cycle of alliance and break began again. So Kumar let us Ketkar, not forget do you that Modi that and Amit Shah do not form the alliance. Do you believe that BJP can get any sort of a majority in the BMC? Because that's not its track record I don't in the think BMC. Any, I don't think either BJP or Shiv Sena will get their own majority. It all depends on who gets more seats. There's no question of either BJP or Shiv Sena getting their own majority. All Out right. of the question. Yeah. Well, uh, Atul from the BJP is still with us. Atul Bhaktalkar, thank you for staying with us. You just heard Kumar Ketkar saying that there's a very unlikely that either of parties will achieve a majority to be able to form the BMC uh, you know, on their own. Do you... So what will be the step but ahead if the BMC but, but settles, if, if the BJP settles around the 30 odd seats that you have right now? Let, let me let, see, it is his perception, but let me tell, tell you that we have 15 MLAs in Mumbai. Hmm. And in, if you go by assembly election results, we are ahead in 135 votes as far as assembly results are concerned. And in last two years, under the leadership of Devendra Fadanvis, we have made a lot of work in Mumbai. Mm. Right from Metro to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Path. So Mumbai Kar Janta is absolutely happy with our government, our the transparent government with Devendra Padanvi. Mm. And under his leadership, I have full confidence that we will get more than majority in Mumbai. Also respond to this, uh Bhaktalkar sir, respond to this. The fact that both of the other panelists right now are, uh, agree on the fact that the BJP is an active participant in the BMC as it stands. You cannot turn around now and call the BMC corrupt or call the Shiv Sena, uh, you know, uh, not really uh, transparent because you've always been part of the process. Whether it is the roads, whether it is any other thing, whether it is garbage collection, the members of the BJP and the BMC have always been part of the process. How can you turn around now and question the manner in which the process was con being conducted? We are saying this so because in last two years, when our chief minister is there, under whose control Mumbai Corporation comes, when he orders at his own free hand to the municipal commissioner, he honors crores of rupees corruption in road, visiting, uh, uh, waste management, and every, in each and every department of the corporation. And then we started regarding the transparency issue. Earlier, when our, we were not in the government at the state, uh, state level. That time also we demanded that there should be thorough inquiry of the corporation. But that time Chief Minister, who Congress Chief Minister, never ordered any inquiry to the municipal committee. Manisha Kandi, Manisha so, Kandi, respond now, to that. Respond to what Atul Bhaktarikar is saying, no, that, that the discovery not, of corruption only that, happened that, after uh, Devendra Fadnavis uh, ordered it. Of the BMC, and, and, there are journalists. There are journalists there, there are bureaucrats, there are, I mean, the entire meeting is transparent, the tender system is transparent, and the commissioner himself has been appointed by Sri Devendra Fadanvis ji. Ajay Mehta, who is the municipal commissioner, has been appointed by the CM. And Shusena it is their person in the BMC to control. Shusena, Shusena, you know that the mayor has hardly any powers. 
and you are part uh, you are part every committee of every the committee of has the power and uh, i mean the, this is absolutely uh, uh, nobody can take this argument and only in this 6 months they have been talking about all this earlier from 97 they never spoke but, of it but uh, but you know manisha candy my question to you is the same here mm -hmm. we had very very strong comments coming from the supremo of the shiv sena uh, manisha candy are you still with mm -hmm. us yeah 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 yes there. Uh, he said things like, "We will no longer stand with a begging bowl in front of everybody. We wasted 25 mm -hmm. years on this alliance." These were very strong words that he used. Now, mm -hmm. if this is the feeling within the Shiv Sena, why not just withdraw? And I'm going to come back to the same thing. If if this is how sour the relationship is, why not just withdraw <coughs> from uh, the center and the state where the Shiv Sena continues to support the BJP? Yes, of course. This uh, question on your part is very natural. Anybody would ask this question. But of course, things will go in their own pace. And uh, definitely, uh, of course, we do understand your question, and we do understand lots of Shiv Sainiks also uh, are with the same feeling. And uh, things will unfold uh, as we progress in time. Things will unfold. Of course, Kumar Kethkar is still with us. Kumar Kethkar, uh, what does this mean for the other parties? Like Manisha pointed out, while the BJP had about 30 odd seats in the BMC, the Congress has close to 51 right now. What would this breakup per se mean to the rest of the parties in this race? Well, actually, it will be a contest between BJP and Shiv Sena. Congress and NCP will not be in the reckoning at all. And this argument of transparency cuts both ways, because there has been an argument from the Shiv Sena MLAs and Shiv Sena ministers that Devendra Fernandez and the BJP is taking most of the decisions without taking them into account. In fact, the Shiv Sena. Ministers are just like you know dolls in the cabinet, and the same thing is incidentally is happening or alleged to be happening even in Delhi. Most of the cabinet are actually puppets of Narendra Modi. So what is happening in Delhi is being copied here. Is the argument of the Shiv Sena? It's not my argument. And if that is the argument, then naturally the demand for transparency does not get itself limited. To BMC, it gets limited also to Mantwale, and then further limited to the uh, Parliament or uh, to the Cabinet at Delhi. So I think the argument of transparency is quite invalid because the allegations by Shiv Sena on non-transparent behaviour of the governance of the of the uh, Devendra Fadnis government has been there for quite some time. So I think they will have to fight out between the two. There is no question of Congress or NCP having a major advantage. Because of that, maybe a few seats there and a few seats here. But essentially, the fight is between BJP and Sena. It is extremely difficult to say who will win because the argument of Marathi Madhus mm. has already taken a back seat because Mumbai's Marathi Madhus percentage has gone down so much, which probably has inspired BJP. Now that there are Uttar Pradesh people, the Gujaratis, naturally BJP thinks that their national support will translate itself in the BMC. Right. and uh, they will be able to win but i think that argument is also false because in india nobody votes according to the same pattern for lok sabha for assembly and for municipal corporation and for jilla parishad cool. it's all different kind of voting so i don't think we can speculate on who will win yes. how many seats but definitely nobody will have a majority that can be set it Kumar Kethkar also we, we started this conversation by pointing out the effects of demonetization on the possible results of this election the bjp seemed uh, the representative of the bjp seemed very confident that uh, 70% of the people he said are with the prime minister's decision now we know this is old data there's no current uh, check that's been done there's no current research that be, that's been done but in your opinion do you no, believe no, the see. bjp will be hurt by demonetization no, no. extremely simple you know on the one hand whenever they have won the jilla parishad or local elections they have said that actually it is endorsement of the demonetization which means they say that demonetization matters in this election mm. on the other hand in bmc they say demonetization is not an issue issue is mumbai's management so if demonetization is an issue in local elections why it should not be in the mumbai and pune and other elections it will be an issue also the question is if they say that they got support on demonetization from the rest of the local elections then they should get support here also the question is it is not one issue election demonetization mm. will also be a factor but will not be the sole factor mumbai management the argument of transparency the marathi madhus percentage all these factors will remain and if the people in gujarat are voting gujarat has voted out of 8006 seats in gujarat local elections 6000 have been won by congress that has not been adequately publicized so it is not as if the entire gujarati population by definition is mm. with narendra modi 
So I think right. let us not bring the caste, the region, the language, and yes. the religion into yes. our demonetization only matter. It's a multiple issue election. It is an identity question as well as demonetization question. Right. And of course, I have Rita Gupta from the uh, MNS with us right now. Rita Gupta, thank you for joining us. Um, I have one quick question to ask you, obviously. The big announcement coming today of the split between the Shiv Sena and the BJP, uh, both calling the other out for being uh, bad managers and for uh, you know actually uh, functioning with very little transparency. What impact do you think this will have on the elections right now that we are looking, uh, looking at next month? Uh, basically, uh, to speak about the two parties like that, ki they can't stay without each other and they don't want to stay with each other. All depends on what their needs and uh, their uh, this, uh, ways are. So, see, we speak about them. It is like speaking about uh, non, not doing anything. If uh, they want, when if their things are done, if they want their things, what they, whatever they're doing it, their uh, terms and conditions are done, so they're happy with it. If the terms and conditions is not done, they are not happy to speak about each other. I think better we not speak anything about them. Okay, so since we are talking, Rita Gupta, very quick question. Uh, what do you think the MNS's chances are in this election? MNC, the, the, uh, Mr. Asab, our, he he's going to take a decision for just in two days. So we'll decide what we are. And as it is, Saab has said ki we are going to fight again, alone. The party, we don't, we're not going to go alliance with anyone. Hmm. So we are doing it, but we are not making a drama, na, ki today we are with one party, well, tomorrow we are with other party, at least we don't do that. All right, we have to be very, <laughs> very frank in things, you know, okay. at least that much guard MNS is having, he's standing on their own thing. All right, uh, Rita Gupta, thank you for joining us. Kumar Ketkar, uh, I really appreciate the time you spent with us this evening and I do hope we can continue to have conversations as, of course, this story progresses and we uh, inch closer towards the BMC elections. Where on this channel, we'll be focusing on these elections and we'll bring you information, as we've been doing over the last three weeks, on every cooperator in every ward and the track record that they've had to keep their promises and to fulfill their manifestos in the last few years so you can decide who you want to vote for in the upcoming elections. That's wrap on Urban Debate 360. Thank you for watching. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.